Hello welcome everyone to my second review video. Here I'm reviewing best 10 websites every medical student need to know about. Most of them are totally free, and some are having additional features for a subscription as well. So let's get into the video. Please feel free to comment your suggestions in the comments section below. All the comments will be considered always. And like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel, Facebook page and Instagram account as well for latest medical technology videos. First one is Medscape.com. It is a well-known website for medical professionals as well as general public for referring medical content and drugs information. You can sign up and create an account for free here. It contains lot of sections including drug and disease search engine, various procedures, anatomy, quizzes, guidelines etc. and a drug interactions checker and pill identifier. Another section with videos are also there. Including lot of different types of videos, with videos of some professionals recaps, conferences etc. Next one is radiopedia.org which is a website specifically for radiology reference. You can find almost any kind of medical imaging content here very easily. With updates as well. For an example, let's search subarachnoid hemorrhage. And here few links for different articles and cases. And let's click an article. Now you can see the definition, epidemiology, risk factors, clinical presentation, pathology etc. and then the radiographic features regarding almost all available radiological investigations, including CT, MRI, DSA etc. And in right side, you can see few case reports of the relevant topic. And when you click them, it opens into an enlarged view. Here you can see a toggle or a switch to navigate the view. From it you can change the plane of the view as same as in the real situation radiology unit machines. You can also open the case from this link, and it get you into a maximized very clear view of same image. So, this is a must-know site specially for radiology. Next one is ecgwaves.com. It is a website including ebooks, video lectures and tests in echocardiography and ECG mainly including a tracking process. You can create an account using sign up feature and track your progress daily. Let's check ECG book section here. Here you can see some topics regarding basic ECG interpretations. Every topic contains few chapters where you can study them step by step when you progress. For an example, let's see cardiac hypertrophy section. Here you can see section content. And now it shows all basic things about interpretation of ECG regarding cardiac hypertrophy. Another example, here you can see they explain those content very nicely with graphics and charts. But some content remains locked until you create an account, which is totally free. For example, in this page here you see content blocked. Log into view content. So let's see ecobook as well. Left ventricular systolic function. As you see they have explained them very simply. So the site is very good for beginners to learn ECG and echo interpretation. Next one is Webpath. It's easy to search it on Google and then clicking the link which comes first. As it is a bit long link. It is a very old and nice website for studying pathology including microscopic pictures of general pathology, systemic pathology, anatomy histology, as well as some tutorials. For example, here you can see lot of content under general pathology. And when you click it, it opens into another large list of subcategories. From here you can see almost all types of pathology-related microscopy slides pictures. With a brief description as well. There are some virtual patients additionally. And histology slide pictures as well. And also it have some additional content related to microscopic or histological procedures, such as staining methods, etc. etc. So definitely check this out. Another good and popular website is Center of Disease Control and Prevention or CDC official website. Especially in a situation like COVID pandemic. Most people must have heard of that site, but have you been to the site and checked other features? So here it contains all emerging outbreaks in current situations, news about diseases, actions taken by them, etc. You can subscribe for their email newsletters and particularly COVID pandemic news as well. 
Apart from that, there are information about diseases and conditions such as cancers, COPD, diabetes, heart disease etc., which are emerging non-communicable diseases in the world. Also some healthy lifestyle advices, travelers' health, emergency preparedness, and much more. For an example, let's check overweight and obesity. Here you can see several categories related to obesity and some latest updates on the field. Let's check diabetes. Here it also contains a lot of updated information about diabetes in the medical field and worldwide. So better check this website to stay updated. Fifth one is drugs.com. As the name says, it contains almost all relevant information about drugs or medications used, including a pill identifier, interaction checker and side effects section separately also, as well as some updated news. Let's check a drug. Lasartan. Now you can see it contains overviews such as what is, how to take, precautions or contraindications, as well as what to do, if missed a dose etc. also and side effects of Lasartan. In the right side you can see the commonly using drug tablets images. With some more information. It also has health professionals guidance, phonetic search for disabled people, price guidance star food and drug administration alerts, specifically for US of people. And several minor categories. Here an important section, treatment guides, which includes common treatment options for common diseases. So it is a website good for medical professionals as well as general public for their reference over medications they are using. Sixth one of the list is msdmanuals.com. It is a free website including photos, videos, animations and much more related to medical knowledge, including lot of topics which are authored by medical professionals and experts worldwide. It is a frequently updating website, and you can search for any topic here. For example, let's search for heart failure. And you will get lot of results inside the website. Go to one of links, and there will be a good articles on physiology, pathophysiology as well as etiology, and much more about the relevant condition. And there are linked videos as well with describing all content very nicely with animations. And some graphical illustrations as well. There are few more tabs including news and procedure. In procedures you can get videos of several common investigations and the way they are performing. It includes lot of videos in different categories. So check this out. Seventh website in the list is Helio.com. It is mainly a website journal including latest updates on medical field with different specialities. You can see various sections here under main topics news CME and journals. In every category you can access latest updates and news very easily. It is very useful for people interested in particular subspecialitis in medical field. 8 one is something most people in Sri Lanka knows these days. Which is the official website of Epidemiology Unit of Ministry of Health. Almost all countries have their own epidemiology unit website, which will be more or less same in structure. And there you can get latest updates guidelines circulars etc. with other basic epidemiology aspects information as well. Including latest COVID-19 updates especially these days and ongoing epidemics and pandemics. Last but not least is SlideShare. It is not a medical website, but a popular website which includes various PowerPoint presentations by professional students and doctors etc. regarding medical staff, as well as in any subject or field of relevant professionals. You can open and refer any presentation free online. But they don't offer a way to download them directly. There will be a videos on how to download them in our future videos. So stay tuned. Those are the best 10 websites every medical student should know. There are much more in the web, but you always have to use any content in the internet with cautions as their content may not accurate, and there can be mistakes and problems in those content as well. Always try to refer a standard book first and use websites only to clarify things and to further understand concepts better. Thank you for watching.
Like, share and subscribe my Facebook page and Instagram page as well, and stay tuned for more content.